Hi friends. Today is just going to be an instructional video on how a Stockholm waste valve fails or essentially an isolation valve for irrigation system fails. So in the post seeding following video, you'll see clips of, of actual failed Stockholm waste valves. And I will have a couple video links down below in the description. One shows how to replace a stop and waste valve and another one um, talks about what a stop and waste valve is. So I won't go over that too much right here. But what we got is stop and waste valve. This is the old one we pulled out of the ground um, by Ford Meter Company and the waste port you can see it is right there and there's two ways these can fail one is <clears throat> when they're off it leaks through that waste port um, and it fills up the standpipe and i'll show you what that looks like and then the other fail is it actually fails it's failing through as it flows through <clears throat> As it flows through this valve, basically the valve doesn't shut off, but it's flowing through the valve like a basically like a when a heart valve fails, it's it's the water or blood whatever is still going through there. So um, I'll keep it short and keep on watching and check it out. It's leaking, as you can see, and it is basically bad. Stop and waste valve over here. Um, so it's leaking through the stop and waste valve up in here. Boop. So this actually worked out good, even though it's leaking. Um, if some of this stuff was closed off, ball valve or this, it would have broke this this winter. So that's a good thing, but then also a uh, bad thing in terms of wasting water, but we'll get it fixed. Alright, so this is just another example of the same thing. See, it's kind of coming out right there. And it's been leaking for a little while, but you can also, another uh, issue is if that actual valve was leaking, you'd see water in it like that. I can't really see it, but there you go. And then a lot of times homeowner will shut this off because it's leaking and then it'll bust bust this ball valve. So we're gonna obviously replace that, but the cause is down in there. So to summarize, if you have a bad stop on waste valve or isolation valve, could be a ball valve, depends on what part of the uh, region in the country you are, if it's, say November, December, January, February, early part of March, definitely call your certified irrigation contractor and have them come out and fix it and take care of it. Or if it's in early uh, April, you can just shut the ball valve off because it's warm enough and, and, and if it has insulation on that backflow, you'll be fine. And have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.